Hi everyone, Fairy Witch One Eight. Sorry, my light's not very good today, so bear with me on the light. So I do apologise for that. Today I am going to talk to you about more spirits of air, and this is something I've heard on other videos about fairies. And this is the Banshee. Now she is in the elemental group, the Sylphs, which is the air spirits. So I'm going to tell you about them. The Banshee or Banshee is a sylph-like figure of Celtic origin. Her name means woman of the fairies, and traditionally she attaches herself to particular clans. She is the usual, usually depicted as a beautiful maiden in a tattered grey or white dress, and a white cloak that streams out behind her as she flies through the air. She has very long hair, usually red, but in some traditions white blonde. She sings in a high-pitched wail known as the kneeing, now, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and her appearance foretells a disaster or tragedy. In some tales, the banshee is seen sitting in her bare branches of a winter tree, combing out her long locks by the light of the moon. Her expression is always sad or distraught, her eyes red and swollen from weeping. To her, the kneeing, to hear the kneeing of the banshee is said to be bad luck. While to actually see one is a warning of sometimes of death. Although this elemental doesn't fit the stereotypical fairy image, she is nonetheless a member of the fae. As a true meaning of her name indicates, as she floats through the air unaided, she is linked with the sylphs and is a spirit of air. In some legends she is accompanied by magical singing birds, usually three in number. That's a little bit about the Banshee. I have got a spell for you. And it is to create a banshee thought form. Now this isn't to create a banshee, just to create a thought form. So I'll tell you how to do that. Although an actual banshee sighting would probably be unpleasant, to say the least, there is a positive way to use the banshee energies in magic by creating your own personal banshee thought form. You can ensure that you are forewarned of any forthcoming disaster. You will then be able to take steps to alter your present course of action and to avoid any other problems. Now, what you need to do is go to your altar and light the illuminated candle and cast the fairy circle. Okay, and I have done videos on casting the fairy circle. Altering your visualization to see instead a beautiful red headed banshee with wild eyes, pale skin, and ruby lips. This is your personal banshee of warning. Her role is to guide you away from the avoidable disaster, trouble or tragedy. She is not meant to frighten you in any way, but to protect and guide you and provide a clear warning when you are on the wrong path. Now, you'll picture this after you've cast your circle and you're in the centre of your circle, so if I didn't make that clear before. And I'm really sorry about the light. It's not good in here today. It's too bright and my camera's not picking it up. Once you have seen your banshee clearly and have breathed life into her, say the following incantation to activate her powers. Now, what I mean to breathe life into you, are basically breathing a part of you into it, so you're basically blowing your life into a part of your life force into your thought form. And this is what you say Banshee, with your wailing song, tell me when I'm going wrong. If a mistake I'm about to make, warn me, and another path I'll take. Alert me with your kneeing voice and guide me to a different choice. Now see the banshee slowly fade away. Now that you have activated this thought form, a warning, pay attention. If your banshee makes a sudden appearance in your dreams or in your mind's eye at any time, take heed of her warning and alter your actions accordingly. Now that is my talk on the banshee. I hope you've all enjoyed that. Again, I'm going to apologise for the light and any um, pronunciations that weren't correct. I hope you all have a blessed day and... I will be telling you about Feathers of Fortune Divination in my next video. Let's be.